Hey guys, I'm Krista and I'm from Houston. Today we're gonna be installing a hitch on our Ford Focus. So when you install a hitch on a vehicle, it can take you many different places. You can go camping, hiking, um, bike riding. So let's jump right into it. You will need the tool seen here to complete this installation. All right guys, here so we have our hitch right out of the box for our Ford Focus. You're gonna see on each side, these are the frame brackets. You are gonna have three holes on each side. This is the driver side as well as the passenger side. Now I do want you to make a note that these rear bracket holes right here will have to be drilled, okay? So we're gonna get right to it. All right guys, so before we can put our hitch into place, we are gonna have to remove the exhaust bracket right here. It's gonna be the same on the passenger side. Now the hitch will be using the pre-existing weld nuts that are in the frame with the bracket, but we will be discarding these and using the provided bolts that come with our kit. So let's get these down. Okay, now we're just gonna move over to the passenger side and we're gonna do the exact same thing. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the hitch in place. I am gonna be using the U-Haul hitch jack. If you do not have one of these, you're gonna to need to get a second set of hands as the hitch can get kind of heavy, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and line it up. Now that we have our hitch into place, we're gonna take our provided bolts and we're gonna go ahead and just snug them into the pre-existing weld nuts that were on the frame. And we're gonna do this for both sides. All right, so now that I have these snug down, I do wanna point out, as you can tell, that we did not reassemble the bracket for the exhaust right here. We're gonna do that later because we are gonna remove the hitch as we're gonna use our hitch as a template to drill our holes in. Okay, so now we're gonna do the passenger side as well. All right, now that we have them snug down, we're gonna go ahead and mark our frame for our hole that we're gonna be drilling. Okay guys, so we're just gonna use our frame as a template. We're gonna start out by drilling our pilot hole. All right, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, now that we have our pilot hole drilled, we have upgraded to a bigger bit. So we're gonna go ahead and just enlarge this to be able to get our bolt through. All right, now that we have the driver's side done, let's move on over to our passenger side. We're gonna repeat the same process over here. All right. Now that we have our hole drilled with our template, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the four bolts that we placed in earlier. That way we can fish wire our hardware up into the new hole that we just created. All right, we're gonna repeat the same process on the driver's side. So, to get this carriage bolt and carriage spacer to the foremost hole that we drilled, I'm gonna to need to use this axis face. If you'll notice though, that our carriage spacer goes in nice and smooth, but our carriage bolt misses by just a hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use an air saw and we're just gonna open this up a little bit to allow the, the bolt to be able to go through so we can fish wire it down. Now that we have our hole enlarged, as you can see, our carriage bolt fits through there pretty well. 
So our next step is going to be to fish wire through here. And we're going to go ahead and get started on that. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to place our fish wire through here. So you can see it's going to come out here. So what we want to do is we want to place our spacer block on first. Okay. Then we're going to thread our carriage bolt onto it. Okay, once that's started on, you're going to place your spacer block through the opening. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pull this out the other end. We're going to repeat the same process on the passenger side. Now that we have our hole widened out, we're going to repeat the same process that we did on the driver's side. So as, same as on the other side, we're going to place that spacer bolt first, then we're going to thread that carriage bolt on. Now that we have both of our carriage bolts outside of our drilled holes, we're going to get our hitch in place. And if you'll notice on our carriage bolts, we did leave the fish wire in place. This is going to prevent our carriage bolts from going back up in the frame and being lost. So what we're going to do before we raise our hitch in place is we're just going to thread our fish wire through the hole points on our hitch. And we're going to do that on each side. Now that we have both the sides with the fish wire, we're going to go ahead and raise our hitch into place. All right, now that we have our hitch in place, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove that fish wire off of our bolts. All right, and we're going to go ahead and install our provided hardware. And we're going to do this on each side. All right, now that we have our front bolt secure, what we're going to do is we're going to replace our exhaust bracket we're going to be securing it with the bolts that you've seen us use earlier. So these are actually going to go through your exhaust bracket, through the hitch, and back into the frame. And there's going to be two on each side. Now we're going to do the same thing on the passenger side. All right, now that we have all of our bolt tan tight, we're going to torque them down to our manufacturer specifications. We're going to start with the rearmost bolt. We're going to be using a 5 inch extension with 11 sixteenths. We're going to do the same thing for the one on the driver's side. All right, guys, so now we're going to switch out our 11 16 sockets for a 13 millimeter. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and torque our two most forward bolts. All right, 
Now that these are torqued down, we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. All right, guys, now that we have everything torqued down to the manufacturer specifications, let's get our focus down onto level ground and we'll get you some important measurements. Okay, guys, here, so some measurements on your focus hitch. So from the ground to the top of the receiver is gonna be 12 inches. That's gonna let you determine the rise of the drop that you can have. From the hole to the rear edge of the bumper is gonna be five inches. That's gonna let you determine anything with a vertical post. So thank you guys for watching the video. Go out there, have fun, and enjoy the outdoors. To learn more about the product seen in this video or to schedule an installation by a U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.